it's a bobble police made a video about vegan gains um, stating that he failed or he's failing at the law of attraction with getting um, with not putting videos with as much effort into them in the next little while because of the ad situation. I find it more and more that the people giving advice, I mean, I love vegetable police, number one vegan on YouTube to me. Um, but like these people who are giving out the advice and, uh, and especially judgmental people who go around everywhere going like this guy has, you know, fuck this guy for this reason, that reason, the other, they're just filled with character flaws. And their presentation and their attacks are almost a way to just cover up, you know, the holes in their ship. But it's funny because Vegetable Police is saying, well, Vegan Gaines should put everything into his videos. First of all, there's a, almost like a little passive-aggressive subtle shots at Vegan Gaines. There's in the title saying that he's failing at the law of attraction in the video. He's saying that vegan gains doesn't always knock it out of the park with his videos. And then he says that he doesn't feel vegan gains loves making videos. And it's just a lot of passive aggressiveness in, in that video. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, that's a whole nother issue. But another thing is he's saying um, he's basing his video, his advice and judgments on vegan gains um, about what vegan gains has said up to that point. Now, part of what he's going to say is obviously just because he's frustrated. Um, and we can't we can say, oh, well, vegetable police may be in that situation, maybe would be different. But you really can't judge people like that. You really can't judge people because everyone's in such a different space. Now, maybe you can say that... Okay, Vegetable Police is right on. You should be making videos because you love it. Yada, yada, yada. But if I'm going to draw up something I feel might be a parallel situation with Vegetable Police. Now, Vegetable Police, who, according to his own videos, my memory might be a little off, but he was on social assistance a little after he got better. I'm, I'm not, I'm assuming he's still on social assistance. This is all kind of based on what he has said, but he was getting money from the government and complaining that it wasn't that much money, like a tiny bit of money to succeed or to survive rather. Now, here I am working with two kids with people trying to sabotage and end my career on, you know, on in different factions with all this politics at work and, oh, just sick to my stomach, you know, while I'm at work struggling to survive there with all these psychotic people. Uh, totally my fault, by the way, for not getting a degree. But dealing with all of that, and frustrating because it's at a job I've loved more than any other job I've ever had in my life. Being ruined by circumstances kind of by, beyond my control. And you have this guy who is complaining about the free money he gets. And he's also said that he took a quick course 
and he thought it was going to be for some other job outcome, but all it was was something that trained you how to work at a call center like a collection agency, and he didn't want to do that. Well, you know, there's plenty of things I don't want to do either, but I do do them because I'm under immense pressure to pay my rent, to support my family, you know, to keep this stupid car running, to, you know, pay the rent, to, you know, pay for, for baby clothes, all sorts of stuff, you know. It'll have you on the verge of a nervous breakdown if you're, you're ever in, in these kinds of situations. Now, Vegan Gains is in a situation where his work has a value probably 10x above what he's paid. Maybe even before, I don't know. But these sponsors only want to get on these family-friendly, you know, content creators because YouTube is, is giving them the option to do that. I think there's a lot of logic behind thinking that's too much control for the advertisers. And I say that because I, I believe that because the reason why Netflix has been so successful is they don't cater to advertisers. I think there's something to that. And Vegan Gains has been putting in so much effort into his videos, it doesn't really make sense to to put in, you know, a, I don't know, 24 hour of work into a video that makes you 10 bucks or whatever he puts into them. He never said he's gonna not make videos and the assumption or passive aggressive kind of snarky comment is he doesn't believe Vegan Gains even likes making videos which is odd because of the high quality of his videos. Um, despite so much negativity on his channel, probably the most negativity anyone in the vegan community has ever faced is vegan gains. He's gotten through that. He's gotten through endless hate on himself and his wife. And now, he's getting paid almost, you know, very little for his high quality videos. And he has to make rent and put food on the table and pay, you know, and just that alone is a lot of stress. As far as I know, Vegetable Police still lives with his mother. And I assume that she buys a, a lot of the groceries. I don't know. So for him to make all these assumptions, I feel like it's more, I'm going to say a word. I'm not sure if it's appropriate or the right word, but I have it in the back of my head and I'm going to say it even if it's wrong. Self-aggrandizing himself. And it's almost just a boast with his chest out saying, I do this for the love, and Vegan Gains doesn't. Because nothing else really makes sense to me. The guy's been making videos for a long time, and he's still making videos. I mean... I, I don't think he, he succeeded in, in proving... He, he had kind of a point, but I feel like the video was more just an ego flex about how he's doing things for the right reasons. Let's not forget <coughs> that Vegetable Police on several occasions has complained about the growth of his channel. Now is he failing back then about the law of attraction and just having faith that it will all come? Is he or is he not? Think about it. Like, now, 
He's calling out everyone to do a push-up challenge, John Venus, Vegan Gains, subtly jabbing Vegan Gains to get more viewers. I don't know. It's almost like in my mind, it's the opposite. Like Vegetable Police is stooping a little low, like Vegan Gains did, to get more views, more subscribers, make it into a career, because that's what Vegetable Police has ultimately said. Oh, you know, I'm going to have faith and, and it, it'll happen. So what happens if that was actualized and then it gets taken away from him? Like, Vegetable Police is not in the same shoes, so he cannot judge Vegan Gains for the state that Vegan Gains is in and where his mind's at. He kind of reached the top of the mountain, and then the mountain crumbled underneath him, and he's like, what the fuck? So I don't, uh, don't agree with... I think there's also a, you know, more of a dark motivation behind Vegetable Police's video. And let's not forget, he's... He's not the only one. H3H3, I love. They're going to broaden their, their business um, and not rely so much on YouTube, as is uh, Felix PewDiePie. He's probably going to have to do more extracurricular things outside of YouTube while just maybe relying on YouTube more so as marketing for maybe more PewDiePie games and books and, and things along those lines, you know? So, uh, yeah. Two days back in a 120 degree convention center with a bunch of other sweaty people, you're gonna have to make a lot of progress. Look inside yourself. Step outside yourself, right? Then cut a hole in yourself. Then look inside yourself with yourself. Look inside of the person you step out. Break down the rules of society and watch what happens. A bunch of maniacs forming tribes, raiding other parties, taking hostages, fashioning weapons out of anything.